Welcome to Second Take, the show that focuses on the issues behind the news. Mining Weekly editor Martin Creamer joins me today to unpack the latest in the mining industry. Hi Martin. Hi Chanel. Ahead of this year's Electro Mining Africa show, economist Davi Ruet has said there is likely to be some positive momentum in the economy. Yes, I think we're very lucky to have this Electro Mining Africa show right on our doorstep here at a time when there's a lot of optimism and hope that even at policy level and at economic level, you know, there's going to be improvement. The two are coinciding. And at the same time, this is going to be the biggest show ever. You know, 30,000 people plus going through there. 850 exhibitors, you know, six big halls, also outside exhibitions. At a time when we need to get a new insight into what is available in mining, because there's been a lot of advance. There's artificial intelligence, there's technology, there's so much that's coming through. And then you get, you know, the economic side of it that looks better. The inflation side of it seems to be declining. The rates at which people sell money looks like it's going to go down. All those are very, very favorable. And we're lucky they're coming together, especially at this time. And from the September the 2nd to September the 4th, you know, southwest of Johannesburg here, we, there's going to be a hive of activity, which I think will be a key stimulus for mining in South Africa. Exara is also expecting central banks to start lowering interest rates. How could this benefit the group? You know, it's incredible that you now get CEOs of mining groups coming forward with expectations that are very positive. And we saw yesterday, you know, Exora the CEO coming through and expecting the economic situation to improve, expecting the reserve banks of the world to start lowering their interest rates, expecting that inflation that we've been suffering you know, for four years to start diminishing. So it's an important timing we've got here because we also see that we've got a, a, a multi-party unity government. It's, a, it's got a slightly different approach. The policy expectation out of that is that it will be slightly better, uh, that uh, it will move mining, that we will have the cadaster coming through. Now that cadaster tells people while they sit at their desks what is available, who has got what, and how long they'll have it for. And so this will be a different era for South Africa here at a time when there's critical mineral demand. Critical mineral demand coming through, which could lead to quicker exploration decisions here. And we are already seeing copper on the move. Hopefully there'll be a lot more coming through. And it's interesting to see the leaders of mining, you know, talking with positive expectation. Lastly, Barrick Gold has reported a steady performance from its African operations. What can you tell us about that? You know, again, Africa is getting this reputation of being a reliable performer. You know, you get a big company like uh, Barrick coming through, you know, as usual, you know, Africa are delivering a reliable performance. That is a great reputation for Africa. And at the same time, you know, Barrick was talking about Kibali gold in the DRC. And that's amazing because you'll see that that mine, and it's a big mine, for part of next year and future years, six months of the year, it will be powered entirely by renewable energy, powered entirely by clean, green energy. That is also a great reputation for, South for Africa to have. And hopefully, you know, South Africa will also start emerging as a, a country with great reputation where you can put investments, you can reliably know that something good is going to come out of it. But increasingly, you do hear the sentiment about Africa. So it is good for the continent, and we hope it will lead to greater investment. Thank you, Martin. Thanks, Chanel. That's it for today. Join us again next week for more news analysis on the local and global mining industries. To subscribe to Creamer Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly, please email subscriptions at creamermedia.co.za.